I'm up. Hey, it's up. Tour, it's tour time. It's play time. We're done working. No, you want to do a tour today, Johnny? Let's do a tour. We'll we, do a tour. We'll do a tour. Today and not tomorrow, there's no time to borrow. Today is a good day to live. I'm Bernadette. I'm Wes. And uh, this is our home, Lotus. This this build that you're about to see is the build that we wanted to do in our driveway. <laughs> Just didn't have the know-how. <laughs> we didn't know how to do it. Yeah, we didn't know how to do it. And by meeting Johnny and befriending her, she's got the creativity and, and the artistic skills to make our vision in a reality. Excited to show you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the inside of the van. We'll start at the door, that flip-up table. Two foot long, it's huge. Um, our, our cute little black sink. Johnny put us a water filter under the sink and we've got a, a, a drinking water drinking fountain, water. which is amazing. Um, the countertop, what's the yeah. countertop? Oak? White oak. White oak. It's five foot long, and then a two foot flip up, so makes for seven, seven foot feet of counter. Of counter. Fabulous. We like the thin countertop, more space. We're so happy because we still have. That was the one thing that we loved in Atlas. Remember, yep. we had space, and we need space. And we have hot water too now. Uh, yep, and that also went under the yeah, sink. The yeah. what? How many gallon? Four, four gallon. Gallons. Four gallon hot water heater under there. We've got. Um, the filter under there, the water fill is under there. Accumulator. Accumulator, water pump. Yeah, it's it's a whole bunch of stuff. It's a jungle. <laughs> it's a jungle and it works. Yep. It works. Um. This morning I so clear a lot as I need To see the horizon in the far Excuses were two for a penny But they've all gone out the window of this car refrigerator. Our massive refrigerator, Isotherm 195 yep. It's actually a marine, right? Yep. So it doesn't have to be level, it's not picky it, I didn't, I forgot about this though, it's got two compressors So One for the fridge and one for the freezer Yeah Fridge is on top, freezer's on the bottom Pretty nice. I can reach in there at night, get my ice cream out of the freezer. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's right across from his bed. But anyways, it, um, it we have it up on a platform. We have cupboards underneath it, which is, is great. Brings it up to a nice height, too. Yes. Yeah. The nice thing with the refrigerator is it's AC and DC. Yeah. So we've got it. Johnny's got us hooked up. So when we're on shore power... We can plug that refrigerator right into shore power plug and take it totally off of DC. Otherwise, it runs on DC. Doesn't use much energy. Yeah. So we've got ventilation on each side and on top three places for three. it to vent because it is built in. So we put a screen up there so stuff don't fall in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's nice. And when I feel the wind on my face. bedroom I love my bedroom um, we have l-shaped beds back there uh, which we we kind of we talked about doing that in the first place in Atlas okay. we just we couldn't figure out how to make an l-shaped bed so we went with the standard put it across the top well, this um, one's longer too for the van so it helps. oh yeah that's right this is an extended so that helped too but um, yeah, I sleep across the back for the beds I got my ice cream. She's got her wine candy. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> yeah, Les is in reach bottles. of ice cream, and I'm in reach of wine. <laughs> uh, we've got a beautiful little oak uh, nightstand, nightstand back there that Johnny built us, and it I love it. It is 
it's my nightstand. It's like, it's a piece of home. Yep. It's a piece of home. So I've got my my nightstand with all my little trinkets in there. And I love it. I just love it. I can put my coffee on there, my glass of wine on there. Sit up in the corner. We have two Sirocco fans, which for a total of three, there's three yeah. Sirocco fans in Lotus, which is, I think we're really going to love. Yeah. Because one is one's back by my bed, one's, one's back by, by Les's bed, and one's up in the kitchen. So it's and we've used them already. Oh yeah. We each have bunk windows back there. And I have a little cubby under my window. For actually, back, like the iPad or yep. cell phone. And our bunk window shades. Bunk window Where shades. else would we put them? It's perfect for that. Uh, three cabinets above my bed for our clothes and some food. They're huge. Yeah, they actually, they compared to Lotus or Atlas, uh, you know, we had a cubby and that was it. Now we have a cubby with a shelf. So it's yeah. like double the space yeah. because of the super high. Of it was nice to make that end one up dry pantry. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So we've got dry pantry there. And the shower. Oh my goodness, the <laughs> shower. That we went round and round on, huh? Back and forth, back and forth. Well, oh, back up a little bit. We do have the outside shower also, yeah. which is in the garage area. Uh, Les just used it the other day. It's great when it's nice Works out. Good. Yeah. Heck yeah. But um, inside shower, that was, imp I think that was more me. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, that was important for me. Shower uh, and toilet both in one. Yeah, so it's like a wet bath. Yeah, it's got a teak floor. So the toilet don't sit right on the ground. Oh, and then the um, the swing out arm, the shower shower right. curtain arm. We discovered that shower curtain arm in when we had class the C. class <laughs> class A. We we took our shower doors out because Les was in the shower like this, and I don't know. I just found them somewhere. Yeah. So we took the shower doors out and put one of these these uh, swing out arms swing out shower curtain mm -hmm. rods in there and it was great so that was one thing that we knew we would do in here and then we still have the doors so we can close it all off and the shower curtain coming down which the doors actually give us a nice place to put a full-length mirror compared to the last two years we had a mirror this right. big <laughs> so we actually have a full mirror um ca uh, baskets, baskets yep for all Storage. of our toiletries and stuff Works pretty good. And then... Uh, In your dream. You know, I, I feel kind of bad because I get two sp favorite spots in this van. <laughs> <laughs> one is back in my bedroom and the other one is, I have an office. Welcome to my office. Um, for those of you that have been following along, uh, Johnny showed a clip of me just a puddle. <laughs> 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 because... I think the Patreons got to see. Oh, I gotta cry again. It's so cool. <laughs> this whole corner I have is amazing. <laughs> now you gotta stop. <laughs> <sighs> She's not gonna stop. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, that was that was one of my builds. Yeah. You know what? Which brings well, which brings me to a very good point. There's there's good things and bad things about having the client there twenty four seven. It's great because you get to collaborate and you get to change things, and it's not so great because they're there all the time and you're always changing things. So it's really, <laughs> man, it's it's drive the builder nuts. Yeah, you do. You drive the builder nuts and. <laughs> On my skin Begin to fall From within Today and not tomorrow the driver's seat was like a dead space it was dead space we didn't we were like well we'll figure out when we get there and lo and behold i built it in my dream 
I got up that morning and I told Johnny, I said, grab your coffee and come sit with me. <laughs> and this is what I envisioned. I Because when we were in our sticks and bricks, I had an office. I had all the bills. Everything was laid out in one place. And it was, it was just, it was there. And when we, we got rid of our house. and Got rid of everything. Yeah, I I struggled for a whole year trying to keep bills straight, trying to keep everything straight without an office that you can let this stuff be in. It's perfect room for a nice old secretary <laughs> desk, and it the folds down. I can down. I can fold it down right now, and it comes out. I love it. I've got everything right here, everything that's close that I need. And we extend it. We put the table up on the sink. Yep. To the countertop. And put as you seen in the beginning, put that board down and play our games. You know, and that was one other thing we learned about living in Atlas, because we played we had a board under our bed. Yeah. But we kind of balanced it on the counter and balanced it on the couch. <laughs> so now we have a permanent game table. I love it. Um Johnny built up a little platform. I don't even have to have my feet hang down. So this is less a spot because he touches the floor and I touch the floor over here. And under the step up, we got a Wabasco heater. This is nice. We yeah. don't have to carry, what's that? Diesel. diesel. We don't have to carry diesel. It's yeah. hooked up right okay. to the right to the gas tank. To the gas tank, just turn it on and go. Mm -hmm. Love it. And a taco window. On <laughs> Tuesdays, it's the taco window. The other six days of the week, it's the mobile therapy window. <laughs> That's what we call it anyways. And then we have a piece of, another piece of home. We have so many pieces of home in Lotus. It just, it just, just it's, it's like home. home. It feels yeah. like home, yeah. Our, our uh, all the wood that we did, um, because that was all of our, our wood in our house was uh, the golden oak, all the entertainment all the centers and stuff yeah. and, and, and all that. So it feels so much like home. And, and look at that clock on the wall. Oh my goodness. It's just, it's incredible. I, Johnny, you just... Nailed it. You nailed it. You blew it out of the park. Yep. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Then we have the attic. Yeah. It's double the space, you figure, because yeah. the other, it's 10 inches higher than the regular yeah. high roof. I remember the first night we moved in here, you sat up there and you flipped up the table and you're playing. A, Les says, I think I could like this. <laughs> <laughs> And I was way back there. We had our own space. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And, and the curtains. curtains. Curtains are great. Yep. Put the curtains back here instead of having all this stuff hanging up here. Right. It really opened it up a lot, didn't and it's it? And a lot of space. Yeah. Otherwise, yep. it would be wasted because it would be cut off. This would all be cut off. Yep. And that's our seats now. This is um, Daphne the Blind Dog. Thank you, thank you, thank you for... Uh, now that's a huge shout out to you. I, two years ago at Johnny's Journeys Meetup, I saw Daphne's and I said, mm, 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 we're going to have that in the new one. And Johnny made it happen for us. What well, was that? The curtains and the running boards all from Daphne. Oh, from Daphne. The, yeah, thanks, Daphne. Yeah. <laughs> the running boards. We. Uh, Daphne the blind dog. Yep, she's in Canada. We yeah. see her when she comes down for yeah. the meetups, for Johnny's Meetups. But, uh, yeah, we got, yeah, that's the thing about van life. You kind of, you get to see so many different vans, and you go to the meetups, and you yep. get all these ideas. And, yep. man, because, you know, everybody's different, and everybody thinks about different things. Yep. So. A lot of different ideas. Yep. So, I'm, I'm glad we lived in Atlas for three years. Oh, yeah. Because, otherwise, how would we know?